Her beauty, not clipped from the pages of Vogue, reflect a comfort, a maturity, a roundness. The look in her eyes said, she knows tears. She saw the poetry of shards and splinters. My wrinkled suit and scuffed shoes didn't matter as we walked in the wind and talked in the pale amber street lamp light about jazz, Buddha, and alcohol. Rainy New Year's Eve, her own chips and scra scratches complemented my brokenness. And giving me permission to drop the act, permission to write my own song, where love is not a, a zap of lightning, but a long, slow, building, rolling thunder. <laughs> and the show rumbles on. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Miniature footprints tracing a path, a predetermined path over the lines and spaces of us to a same old song of harmony and happiness sung by preachers and teachers, parents and proselytes. Sung um, confirmed, comforted in certainty, consequences and mistakes. A song of right and wrong. We're expected to sing along to get to fit in and belong. No room for Frisk and the Whiskers. <laughs> and in that box, the cat's still, both living and dead, until we look around and see what's really going on. What can happen will happen, regardless of the score. Deep, sur deep scratches in an old vinyl record the needle skips and repeats, and skips and repeats, and skips and repeats until jolted into a different groove. By that time, the same old song sheet is hardly recognizable. And there's still a lot of world to see. Every day, really, a jam session, <laughs> improvisational call and response, reveling in the chaos and uncertainty of tension and resolve. Boogie-woogie, 
bending, blending, blowing your mind, man. <laughs> Thank you.